Mateo, Mr. Chairman. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My, my name is Bindi, uh, and it's my pleasure to present you. Uh, the, the, this work is a part of one EU project which began uh, this year, so only some preliminary results are uh, reported here. So this is uh, Professor Rushka Koza and uh, Professor Rushka Hernandez. Oh, thank you. Okay, thank you. Uh, uh, I'm from the University of Lisbon, uh, the Essence Material Center. So, uh, firstly, I will give you some introduction and uh, the motivation of the latest work. Uh, then I will talk about the strength characterization of glass materials. And then I will talk about the analysis methods based on the weakest link theory. And also, why develop the integrated assessment model glass component design will be presented. I will give you some pre preliminary application uh, results of the application result in example and finally give you some pre concluding remarks. <laughs> okay, so uh, more advanced application of glass materials is uh, enabled for new energy technologies to enter the marketplace by increasing the efficiency and the decreasing the cost, such as, uh, for example, oh, uh, sorry. <laughs> it's okay? You look so oh. oh. yeah. 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 This one, okay. Okay. So, for example, uh, solar uh, photovoltaic and uh, concentrated solar power and early storage and, uh, and so on. Uh, the structure, structural integrity. Oh, okay, but it's okay. So the structural integrity uh, and the reliability of glass components are key issues. For example, the glass windows in the solar furnace may suffer catastrophic fracture due to thermal and structural loadings, including the reaction chamber pressure cycling. Besides, during, during the operation of the concentrated the Okay, thank you. Uh, operation of the concentrated solar power plants, uh, solar re reflectors are exposed to harsh climatic conditions, which cause the uh, degradation and the decrease in the optical performance of solar mirrors. The surface damage may be caused by direct uh, impact of sound particles transported through winds or during mechanical contact the cleaning of soil the deposition. In the present work, the structural integrity of glass components is the focus. So I am used. <laughs> you okay. Yeah. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much. So the the flex strings of brittle materials such as uh, glass and uh, ceramic and, uh, and so on is more dependent on the size and the distribution of cracks or surface flaws compared with the ductile materials which have a behavior of local stress distribution due to the plastic deformation. So components stress over a large volume or area will activate a big number of flows and therefore have a higher likelihood of activating a large flow. Therefore display no stress values. So the objective of this uh, the, the present work is to develop an uh, integrated assessment procedures for class, comp class components design and structural integrity evaluation. So here are some uh, examples uh, about the application of glasses in uh, concentrated solar power systems. Uh, 
this is the, the source from uh, Maliki Nash uh, or, uh, or University of Sevilla. So, as we see, this axis is the uh, concentration ratio, this axis is the temperature. temperature. So, uh, as we see, the, 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 the general uh, thermal character for domestic uh, water you, 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 you usage. Uh, so they are uh, working in the relative low temperature range. And then this kind of uh, is called a hyperbolic uh, trough. Uh -huh. So the temperature, the working temperature may be up to 400 degrees, and then the concentration ratio uh, about uh, 50, 50. And then you can see the solar radiation uh, collected, reflected, and this, this uh, mirror. And then concentrated to a receive Q. And the, another deep is called the tower central, tower central. It, the, the solar radiation are reflected by the radio state and the, to the, are concentrated to the receiver. Uh, this kind of is called, called the parabolic disk. It also concentrated the solar radiation to the receiver. This is the example of solar furnace that uh, for high temperature material processing and something. So you can see the working temperature may be up to 2,400 degrees, and the the, the, the uh, uh, concentration ratio may about 1,000. So in this, uh, we can see in order for uh, concentrated solar power systems. Uh, the glass windows or glass tube, the glass uh, receivers are widely used. So, uh, depending on the working temperature and the conditions, uh, many different uh, types of glasses are used. For example, for higher temperature, uh, silica uh, glass, and also for, for some. Uh, uh, 600 degrees, for example, in the polar silicate or aluminum, aluminum uh, polar silicate or sodium silicate. So there are many, many different kinds of uh, glasses applied. Here is uh, one survey and the case study of glass components in the CSP system at the solar platform uh, Almania, uh, Spain. So uh, we can see this is a glass window. The solar radiation uh, uh, come here and the uh, transmission to this window and the, the solar furnace. So we can see the uh, uh, fracture problem that is crack is crack uh, because of the, the, the high temperature, uh, thermal stress and also the, the, the pressure uh, cycling. So. Here is uh, some uh, experimental methods for characterizing the glass panel strings. So, as we see, the uh, more you use them for four point bend testing. Uh, testing for, so, for the, the, this zone is uh, UD axial, uh, uniform stress, UD axial. This is, is, is a three point bend uh, testing, the maximum point of stress here. This is uh, one example, two point bend testing. Here is a uh, ring and ring testing. Ring and ring testing the, the, the glass specimen here and the uh, upper ring, lower ring. So in this zone, this zone, uh, P axial stresses are uh, realized for scan the more the, the flows in, in, most, in different uh, orientations. And another uh, characteristic of glass is static fatigue. Glass is can is demonstrate a loss of stress over time, called static fatigue, and the chemical attack by water vapor or other media causes a pre-existing flow to great critical dimension and causes a small crack propagation. That means before reach the, the critical the KIC, so the, 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 the the, the strength will uh, decrease with time, over time. 
This is a special feature of Galaxy. Another uh, important thing is about the uh, contact stress between the glass and the mounting parts. Also very important for the structural uh, integrity of glass components. So the contact stress between the glass and the mounting parts can be simulated as the Hertz contact and the maximum tensile stress located just outside the contact zone which causes cracks in brittle solids. For example, uh, this is the uh, uh, glass panel as a and the mounting component, the contact. We can see this result by analytical uh, equations. We can see uh, underneath the contact zone is compression. But uh, just outside of the contact zone, here you see uh, significant tensile stress. So, this is the result by final element analysis also uh, showed in here this zone uh, with uh, significant uh, tensile stress, tensile stress, which cause cracks in this zone. So about the, the analysis approach, uh, there, there are local stress approach and uh, also non-local uh, approaches. Local stress approach assumes the equivalence between a component and a reference, a reference specific. It means they use the maximum stress at the notch tip to, to, to for stress calculation. But the uh, uh, local stress approach uh, they, they, they are not uh, uh, satisfactory because like other physical processes, fatigue damage involves uh, process zone. Process zone. So and also. The maximum stress amplitude is unlikely to coincide with the largest defect because the, the, the maximum applied stress one plane not uh, necessarily coincide with the material defects and the orientation. So there are many, recently there are more non-local approaches are proposed. For example, the theory of greater distance proposed by Dr. by David Taylor. Uh, they use uh, uh, the stresses uh, with the critical distance from the, the stress peak. Use this stress is uh, by by uh, pilot critical distance method. And another group of methods use uh, the weakest link theory. It means they consider uh, the the stress the volume the, or critical zone the stress state for damage evaluation. And very recently, and the hijack at the wall, they proposed the highly loaded volume V90, which I propose to at least ninety uh, percent of the maximum principal stress in the in the zone. It means in this uh, proposal, they think the stress, the maximum stress, down to the ninety percent, ninety percent will be this position, and then. This zone should be considered for the uh, stress evaluation. So here there was some example about the, the scaling problem in structural stress. Okay. So it means uh, the, the, the first experiment by Da Vinci, then uh, he discovered uh, the 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 the, the scale, uh, scaling problem. Uh, because of stated that among the cause of equal thickness, the longest is the least strong uh, because of the seismic effect. And the web analysis, web analysis, uh, uh, one important advantage of web analysis is the ability to provide a reasonably accurate field analysis and field forecast for extremely small samples. So, uh, the weak link theory is uh, developed, or developed based on the uh, 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 distribution. Okay, so in the part has multiple field models. The time to first field is first modeled by the Weibo distribution. So for for one link, the, the, the survival probability is like this. Like this. this is the character strength of the material and the, the, the Weibo models. And then a chain, a chain composed of n links is like this equation. 
and the, we use the, the Weibo model, we can, we can identify the uh, volume effect, volume effects uh, to consider the, the, the sizing effect. So, in accordance with the weak link theory, okay, okay, the probability of survival of a component can be described as so here we use the V90, that means 90% of the maximum stress, the volume to, uh, to do the evaluation. Uh -huh. But the, here, the, the, this equivalent stress is the local equivalent stress by the integral approach developed by Liu and the team. The next is it means for every direction we calculated the the equivalent uh, uh, stressing. So the the stress of the fracture uh, can be calculated as a, as a this equation, and the initial stress intensity of the gravity can be estimated as this uh, this way. And then we can take into account the strength reduction of the glass material over time due to subcritical. Correct growth. And then, therefore, one design stress diagram may be uh, created from the uh, above procedures and the time to film versus equivalent stress curves as a function of the survivability uh, probability or reliability can be shown in the following uh, diagram. So, this is time to failure and the tons of stress corresponding to different uh, uh, reliability. Requirements. So the, the, the integrated assessment model is like this way. So, uh, cover the material mechanical property and the final element analysis to consider the, the contact stress between glass component and the, the molten parts and then calculate the maximum first principal stress for each location, the highly loaded volume. Surrounding each stress peak is identified, and then we use the analysis model based on the weak link theory. Finally, we get the damage parameters and the stress evaluation. And uh, here, uh, for this uh, prediction example, we now the, the, our work is still underway to analyze this uh, fracture uh, mechanism and uh, to improve the design. So the first, uh, the preliminary results uh, we can see. The, this is the, 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 the form, uh, the shape before deformation and after deformation. We can see that this zone is very critical uh, with uh, maximum deformation and also maximum stress. And uh, also, the, the crack initiation is here. So, we need to, to, to make an improvement for this design. So I will give you some concluding remarks. With the increasing applications of the glass and the ceramic components in the new energy industries such as the CSP systems, it is imperative to develop advanced design methods for the safety and reliability of these components, which are quite different from the metal components. The integrated assessment procedure proposed in this paper is based on the probabilistic modeling of the complex behavior of glass fracture but avoids the complexity for calculation in applications. With demonstrated examples show the procedure is effective and uh, is a potential for further applications. Uh, we, we hope to get more uh, exa uh, results for, uh, for general publications. So thank you for your attention. Finally, uh, this was uh, supported uh, by a uh, European uh, project. Uh, it's called the Scientific and Technological Alliance for Guaranteeing the European Excellence in Concentrating Solar Thermal Energy. Thank you very much. <laughs>